All right, question 11, we have uh, six parts. So it says we're going to use the following data in the table um, that represents the number involved in a fatal crash in 2016 in a various light and weather conditions. Um, <clears throat> so A, we're going to determine the probability that a randomly selected fatal crash occurred in 2016 in normal weather. So let's look at this table. Um, probably want to copy this in Excel. Okay, so in order to determine the probability, I need to know the total number. So I'm going to get some totals because this first one wants normal weather. So I'm going to click this box and we're going to go to formulas and we're going to do the sum. So I'm going to add up all the normal weather, hit enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this box. You can double click it and it should just copy that formula all the way down. It's the same as dragging it. Um, and I want to also get the column totals because we got different totals with a different weather. So I'm going to do auto sum here and it's going to do that. And then I'm going to click this corner box and drag it across. And um, if this is truly a two-way table, then this column, uh, which adds up all the weather conditions, should equal the total. And this row total, which adds up all the different times of day, should give me the same. So let's do both of those as well. So we're going to do auto sum of all of the daytime totals. And we're going to do an auto sum of all of the uh, condition totals. And you see we get the same thing. So if I were to just drag either one of these boxes down, it gives us the actual total. I want to make that bold. I want that to stand out. Make it a little bit bigger too. There we go. So that's my actual total number of fatalities in 2016. Okay, so we want to know the probability um, of normal. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to say P, that the probability we had a fatality in uh, normal conditions is going to be equal to um, this total divided by this total okay and it gives it to me as 0.857 which will round up to 0.858 all right um b wants a probability that a randomly selected fatal crash occurred in daylight okay so we want the daylight total. So I'm going to say probability that we had a daylight fatality. So that's going to be equal. Just hit the equal sign. Daylight. This is the daylight total. This divided by my total. And that gives me 0.479, which will not round up. So just 0 0.479, 0 0.479. Uh, C, determine the probability that a randomly selected fatal crash in 2016 occurred in normal weather and in daylight. Normal and daylight. So the intersection of those two. Normal daylight. This box here. So we're going to say probability of in and daylight. Probability that it happened both. So the intersection of those two, which would be equal to this divided by the total which that's going to give us 0.41999 will round up to 10 which will carry over so 0 0.42 looking at 0.42 D we want to find the probability a crash occurred in normal or daylight so normal or daylight so that would mean this row or this row. Now they have something in common which is this. So we got to do our addition rule. So we're going to say probability normal 
or daylight. Okay, so or we're going to be equal to, now I'm going to do a uh, parentheses because I have a top and the bottom, and I'm going to be adding something on the top. So the top is going to be, um, open parentheses, it's going to be the normal total plus the daylight total. And then we have to subtract the intersection, so that's that formula. So we're going to subtract this one because it's counted twice in both totals. Okay. And then we're going to have to divide that by the total number of fatalities. And we get 0 0.91699, we'll round up to 0.917. Okay, so E, <clears throat> would it be unusual for a fatal crash in 2016 to occur while it is dark outside without lighting and raining? For the purposes of exercise, consider the probability less than 0.05 to be low. So we're looking for dark without lighting and raining. Dark, so this is dark but lighted. This is dark without lighted and then rain. So there's 600 and 61 in that intersection so we're going to do probability p probability dark and rain so I'm going to say d and r that's going to be equal to this dark and rain divided by the total and that gives me Point zero one eight. That will round to point zero one nine. Point zero one nine. That is less than point zero five. Zero one is less than zero five. So it would be unusual because it's low. The probability is point zero one nine is low according to this standard. Okay, so another part of E, why might this result be considered misleading? Select all that apply. So why is this misleading? <clears throat> there are likely fewer drivers on the road at night, especially when it's raining. That would be a true statement. Um, a better question would be among the drivers on the road when it is dark and raining what proportion result in fatality. Yeah, because there's not going to be a lot of drivers out there, so um, you might get some better information with that. So that's also uh, maybe a better question. And then it says common sense indicates that a dark without lighting road is dangerous, so it seems that the probability of a fatality should be high. So that's also true. Um, most cars have lights. Um, most streets have street lights, so if it was dark no lights and rain, um, this is definitely going to be a high chance that we would have an accident. And then D says it's not misleading. So all of these could lead um, to better scenarios. So um, that will finish that.